Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an emo redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? <laughs> the Quaker guy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we make his whole outfit black and his hair black. And then I'm thinking this little scarf, we make it kind of like black and white striped. And then I'm gonna go in and add some piercings and eyeshadow and stuff like that. So first I'm just gonna select all of his outfit and then I'm just gonna turn it black and white and that should give the effect I want, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the words too, cause why not? And now onto the hair. I found this image and I'm just gonna take the hair from it and mask it out. Oh God. <laughs> Honestly, he's looking a little too tan. So I'm gonna make him a little more pale. We're gonna use a little bit of AI and see if I can get it to be a striped. Okay, that actually worked perfect. Okay, I asked it to give him emo eyeliner. Let's see what it does. Okay, that's not gonna cut it. <laughs> okay, but I did get it to make him frown. So on my iPad, I'm just gonna add in the eyeshadow manually. Lastly, I'm just gonna add on some lip piercings and here's the final result. Sometimes the universe just blesses us with a prompt and we, I think, succeeded in making a hilarious looking logo. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an emo redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Starbucks. Okay, wait, I have some ideas. Okay, basically my idea is to do a bunch of different black and whites alternating all around her, including like a half and half top, skinny jeans, and of course we have to do some hair over the eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the hair in these black and white colors. And I'm also thinking I'm gonna do the same thing for the tails. And now I'm gonna draw on this tank top and I do wanna make it alternating colors. And now I'm gonna draw in some skinny jeans and I'm just gonna add on the details and I definitely wanna add some big rips to this. I'm gonna give her a nose ring and some eyeliner and put that big swoop of hair over her face. Lastly, I think it could be fun instead of the crown if we give her little cat ears. So I'm gonna do all that and and here's the final result. I think this one turned out so cute. The alternating black and white, I think just looks so perfect against the green background. But let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this lands on, we're gonna give it an emo redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Pringles. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Okay, the second I saw the mustache, I knew what we had to do. We have to give this Pringles man an emo redesign where the mustache is on the finger. This used to be everywhere on Tumblr. So the first step is gonna be getting rid of the mustache altogether. And I wanna add on a big, almost emo like bowl cut coming across his face. Okay, here's what we're working with now. I need to draw in the finger coming across. Okay, I added in the rest of the hand. Now I just need to get really up and close with the mustache. Okay, I am loving how this looks, but last step, I think we need to add in some piercings. So I'm just gonna add in two little ones that would be on the cheeks right here. Here's the final result. I think the idea of the mustache being on his finger is just peak Tumblr when I was in high school. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an emo redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? The planter's peanut man. Okay, let's go. Okay, so because of the top hat, I'm thinking that we do something kind of like Panic at the Disco, steampunk a little bit, and then probably add on some like piercings and other stuff like that. So the first thing that I wanna do is add on a little like collared shirt. So then I can put on a little tiny bow tie. I do think he's looking a little too happy. So I'm gonna take that same yellow from his face and cover up the mouth. And I wanna draw on a mouth and add some piercings on there as well as do a little bit of eyeliner and a little nose ring. I wanna add on little like safety pins. Last but definitely not least, I wanna add on a lot of like shaggy black hair. And here's the final result. Honestly, this turned out so cute. I can't believe how just a couple little changes will make the entire thing look pretty much exactly how it was going for. Let me know if you would have changed anything and what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I am gonna give it an emo redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Android, okay, wait, this is gonna be perfect. First and foremost, I wanna give these kind of black fishnet stockings. And I'm gonna add some black eyeliner and I wanna add some more piercings just 
all around. I'm really liking how that's looking so far. Now I just think we need to add some like hot pink long hair. And on top of that, I think we add a like black backwards baseball cap. Okay, here's what we've got. Now I wanna add on some bracelets because I feel like back in the day, well, back in the day, everyone wore bracelets. Lastly, I'm gonna add on some black nail polish and here is the final result. I love how this turned out. I also think she's really cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna yassify it. Okay, what are we gonna get? Monopoly, okay, this is gonna be a fun one, let's go. Okay, after looking at him, we definitely have to make this giant mustache be a giant pair of red lips. Then I'm also gonna add on some acrylics, eyelashes, eyeshadow, the whole nine. Let's get started with those lips. So I'm just gonna make them come down just a bit like this. And then if I pick up the red here, yes, that's working perfectly. I think she also needs to be a little more voluptuous, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add on some nose contour as well as some on the cheeks. I need to add on some <laughs> winged eyeliner and of course throw in a ton of false lashes. Now lastly, I just need to add on some acrylic nails to each of the fingers and here's the final result. I think making the mustache be giant lips was just icing on the cake for this one. It turned out so cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, we're gonna yassify it. Okay, what's it gonna be? <sighs> Quaker, <laughs> wait, this is perfect. Okay, this is really funny because I just saw this tweet of RuPaul as the Quaker guy. So I'm gonna pick up a darker shade from his face and then using the airbrush soft brush tool, I'm just gonna add in the areas that should be contoured. I masked out the eyebrows so we can draw them much higher. Okay, now I'm gonna add on some winged eyeliner. Now I want to add like a teal-ish eyeshadow. Okay, I'm loving how this looks. Now we need to add on some highlight and a little bit of blush. And then we need to add on an overdrawn lip. Now I want to add on hoop earrings. And last, I think it'd be fun to add on a bunch of like hanging diamonds, kind of like a Beyonce hat. So I'll finish that all up and here's the final result. I think she absolutely slayed this one. <laughs> she turned out so adorable and it honestly looks very realistic. I'm proud of my drawing on this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this lands on, we're gonna yassify it. Okay, what's it gonna be? <sighs> Android, okay, wait, this is perfect, let's go. So I'm thinking what we need to do is change the shape because she's a little too boxy right now. And then I want to make this line, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the mouth or not, but I want to make that look like big lips. Okay, so the first step is to work on the body yaddy yaddy. So I want it to be more of like an hourglass shape, so something like that. And then when I fill it in, perfect. Okay, I've got that drawn on both sides. Now I'm going to make this middle part be two big sets of lips. Now I wanna add in a line where her nose contour would be, as well as the cheeks. And last up, I wanna add on a ton of lashes as if she's wearing falsies. And here's the final result. She is a little simple, but I think gets right to the point. It's definitely a more yassified version of her. And I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.